Hey, Sneaky Linux back again tonight. And now I'm going to look at Anti-X 8.5 beta again, but now we're fully installed. Now there's lots to see and do. But what we're first going to do is set my clock, I think, because it's showing the wrong time, even though I set it to GMT before. Now what we need to do is put our password in and set our area. So for me that would be Europe. Hit enter, and I'm just going to go down to London, that would be nearest to me, I suppose. Hit enter again, and if you go down there, you'll see I have the correct time for a change. So that's the first one we needed to do. Right, next, as you can see, there's plenty here to go with, but I'm not going to show you some of it, because you can do that yourself. Exoodles is one I want to look at. So I'm going to check out my password, and after this is done, I'll explain all about it. Now, basically, Exoodles is a terminal for installing the Debian multimedia packages. So what it's actually doing now is downloading all of the Debian multimedia packages. Now, apparently this was created by the guys from Sidex, apparently. I'm not sure, that's what I read. And they are not allowed to discuss it on their pages. So, there we go. So if you want to get this in Sidex, do it yourself. Apparently you can get Exoodles for most stuff anyway, so there we go, give it a go. It takes quite a while to download, as you can see. At 96%, 99%. Last couple of packages coming through now. Not too long, really, is it? Even though I've got a really bad connection. Right, it's reading their package list. <coughs> I'll run through it. And here we go. We're in Exoodles. As I said before, look, it's in the terminal. And you just follow the instructions. They do browsers, codecs, and plugins, editing and authoring, multimedia players and audio, video players. Michelin which has got Audacity and stuff like that, like that in it, and Stream Ripper, blah blah blah. What we're going to do is install a browser. So I've got to click one, which is Google, Google Chrome, should I say. Go and click one, you'll. There we go. And off we go. It starts updating the keyring and downloads all the stuff from Debian and some from the Mepis stable as well, that I looked at earlier. So we have to wait a little while again. I know it seems going for a long thing here, but at least you'll know what to do if you're doing it yourself. So, reading our package list again. We're up to 99. Installing Google Chrome now. That sounds good to me. Reading the package for Chrome. It is the unstable version, by the way. It's not as stable. Now, it wants another 12.9 mega stuff. Do you want to continue? Well, of course I want to continue. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it, would I? So, you click on Y. Press Enter. And now we have to wait again for all the Google Chrome to download. Which takes a little while, not too long. I'll cut it a little bit there. Keep the video a bit short. Unpacks it all for us. Here we go, nearly there. There was one permission denied there. I'll look into that a bit later, but hey. It all seems to run okay. I have tried it before. And there we go, we're all done. Super duper. Now, you, oh, you could install Skype from here and Opera, etc, etc. But one is enough for us, I think. So, this is where it tends to hang. Bear in mind that it's a beta, it waits a little while. If you look at CPU over there, it takes a little while. We'll go down to Fluxbox, Network, Web Browsing, Google Chrome is there. Just click on Google Chrome, and there we go. It starts. Now, I'm going to keep it as the default engine for now, because it's just a demonstration. Now, you know where I'm going to go, don't you? Yes, I'm going to the back. But this time, I'm going to go to the iPlayer section. So we're going to go to BBC iPlayer Home, click, nice and quick for a change. Now let's see if Flash is installed as standard in Google Chrome. So I'm going to click on old Dizzy Rascal from one extra over there. It looks okay from here. I'm going to click to play. And ta-da, we're there. Now you had no audio, it's for legal reasons, so I'm not breaking any laws. But yes, it does work, no problem. If none of you know what one extra is. It's the sister station of Radio One that's into R and B, rap, etc etc and stuff like that. Very nice indeed. Runs nice. Frame rate capture's only on fifteen here, so it ain't gonna be totally smooth, but I'm recording it, so don't worry about that. <coughs> anyway, what next? We'll go down and we'll have a look at meter install. This is one of their own installation sections. You put your password in that you made when you installed and up will come the meter packages. Now you get meter packages and non free. Now if you go to non free there, if you click any of these to install, you're going to be there a long, 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 long while downloading. It downloads them all from the Debian reps. 
bad, 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 bad. But then again, if you've got a super duper f- connection, don't matter really, does it? Under Office, you can get generic navy word as a, as a pair, or Open Office, or K Office. And there's the HP printing stuff there as well for your HP printer. That's also good. If we go to their own games, there's plenty there, but don't expect them to download too quick at the moment. I did try it a bit earlier. A bit slow, but if you've got plenty of time, you don't mind using it, no problem. And if you've used NTX before, you know it's really, really fast and runs with really, really low RAM. But bear in mind, if you want decent video playback, you've got to have a separate video card. It won't do it on board unless you've got a new board, of course. So I'm just going to run for a bit with, it, with you now, just to show you. Before the end of the video, shell system, administration hardware, it's all there. Lots and lots and lots for you to play with. Now, considering it's only a 260 download, you've got plenty to play with, really, yeah. And if you've got a separate partition or an old machine you want to try it on, that could be the one for you. Near the end, he's put Sudoku in the main menu. Maybe he likes playing Sudoku. Not my cup of tea, really, but hey, who am I to say? Anyway, Fluxbox in wallpaper. Now, we've got four wallpapers. We're going to go through them with you. Sunset, we'll click on there. Stalls a little bit, as you see there. We'll go to Sleek NTX. Now that's one of the old ones, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, black with flux and NTX in the bottom. Lovely, super. If you look at Conky in the corner, it's actually not really doing anything. I'm not using no swap or anything. That's a nice one. That one's spooky. I think I keep that. Anyway, that's NTX. We've showed you some of the stuff. Go out there and get it and use it. It's really, really good on all systems. Sneaky Linux going out.